Greetings to you, my friends. Wherever you are, I hope you're well. I will make this as short as I can because the place where I am now has very weak internet and I'm in a certain area of Accra, Ghana. I hope it gets through to you. In Leviticus 23, we have seven annual feasts listed from verse 5 all the way down to the end of that chapter. But before Moses lists the seven feasts, which all represent various areas of the plan of salvation, he mentions the Sabbath day in verse 3. In other words, he sets it apart from all the feast days, seven of them, four in the spring and three in the fall, beginning, of course, with uh, the Passover and ending with the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, why would Moses do this? Because the Sabbath is not a ceremonial day. It is not part of the feast days, and consequently, it is required all year round, every week, every week, as long as you and I are alive, as long as there is creation, whether on this side of sin or on the other side of sin, when the new world will be the place where we live, the Sabbath will be required. And Moses says something about the feast days in verse 4. These are the feasts of the Lord which he shall proclaim in this season. The Sabbath has no season like the other feast days. All your life and mine is the season for the Sabbath. And in the new world, for that eternity which will be endless, that will be the season for the Sabbath. What am I trying to say? The Sabbath does not point or symbolize Christ as our Savior first. It symbolizes him, or it points to him, I should say, not symbolizes. It points to him as creator. And Christ was creator long before there was a need for a Savior. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember, it is not a part of the feast days which Christ nailed to the cross in Colossians 2, 14 and 16. It is required as long as you and I are alive. There is no season for the Sabbath, or you may say the season for the Sabbath is your lifetime. It is the lifetime of the world. And of course, when Christ comes back, that lifetime will be everlasting. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember, you are observing a day that God requires because it points to Christ as creator. And as creator, of course, he came to be savior, but he was creator first. May the Lord bless you and your family as you keep this very, very special holy day, which is not bounded by any particular part in history, but which will be required as long as there is a heaven and an earth. God bless you. God place a double blessing on your children. And I hope the internet that I have allows this message to get through to you. God bless you.